Good evening and welcome to our 2022 Fall Choir Concert. As you can see, uh, we have our brand new sound shell set up. Um, this is thanks to so many people donating um, even small amounts, $5, $100. Um, and thank you guys so much if you were one of those people. Um, it sounds awesome, it looks so cool, and we're really grateful and hope that it sounds better. Um, a couple of courtesy reminders for you. Please make sure your phones are turned off. Um, it can be very distracting if we look out and we see those lights on, and if your ringer goes off, it's very distracting for um, them and myself. Um, if you need to leave, please leave during, uh, not during songs, in between songs only. If we hear that door slam, it's very distracting. Um, uh, one brief note about <clears throat> our theme for this concert. Um, all the songs I picked for this concert um, we're based on two questions that I asked myself this summer. What do we want the audience to say about our performances? And why do we do music? Um, the, question, uh, the first question is always answered, what do we want our audiences to say? People usually say, well, that was nice, and I liked that, and stuff like that. Um, but then when we answer that second question, why do we do music? Um, people say, because it makes us feel something, um, it helps with our emotions, all these things. So I wanted to really deep, um, dive deep into that idea of, can we make a meaningful performance for you? So you're not just saying, well, that was nice. I spent an hour listening to some kids singing, or wow, I, that made me think, or that changed how I viewed this um, issue in the world. Um, so with that in mind, I hope this um, performance tonight will mean something to you and cause you to experience um, my personal why do we music and maybe you can redefine what that means for you. Um, I will now turn it over to our two uh, mistresses of ceremony uh, for the evening, Emily Hybe and Lena Kim. Hello, my name is Emily Hybe. And my name is Lena Kim. As you can see from our program, this concert is titled Changing the World Through Song. Music plays such a, an important role in our lives, and we often underestimate the power that it can have to make change. Our concert tonight will explore this idea. The first selection tonight, Revolution, set the stage of how we are going to start our own revolution and make a change.
From here on out, each group will perform a song that presents an issue that they have seen in the world. Then their next songs will be in response to that issue. The eighth and ninth grade choir will now sing about the issues of world hunger and violence. The words of, excuse me, I don't understand, are written from the perspective of a young child trying to understand differences that they see in the world, but they don't understand them. This song was originally written in French, but they will be performing in English, so play, pay close attention to this powerful text. Then they will be premiering a work that Mr. Biles wrote for this concert called Fight the Fight. This upbeat song uses words as an anthem so that no matter what your position is in life, whether difference in age, gender, or race, you can fight for what you believe in. tomorrow, or specifically in this song, if there will be a morning at all. This leads perfectly into their second... Oh. Our song from the chamber deals with the issue of worrying about what comes tomorrow, or specifically in this song, if there will be a morning at all. This leads perfectly into their second song, Take Time in Life, which is a Liberian folk song with a calypso feel. Once we stop worrying about what comes tomorrow, we can focus on taking time to enjoy the life we have right now. Here is Morning by Janet Gardner, followed by Take Time in Life by Debbie Cavalier.
Now that, we, now that we are content with where we are in our lives, our next song tells us that now we can start to look forward and have a dream. Once we have our dream, nothing is going to stop us from making the necessary healthy steps to achieve that dream. But we won't forget to take time in life to enjoy the moment.
seventh graders' first song, Journey in Peace, will be accompanied by Peyton Welch on the flute. This song speaks to a lack of peace in the world. This song incorporates a traditional Hebrew prayer that translation to lead us in peace and direct our steps in peace. Peace starts with each one of us in the friends we make and the way we treat each other. We can band together as we travel out into the unknown world and we can now know we are not alone. Once we learn to journey in peace, our seventh graders are gonna show us how to let it shine. This traditional freedom song was sung during the civil rights movement during marches. Freedom songs use a basic melody that repeats so that it is easy for people to learn. This arrangement asks the simple melody to make it more challenging and interesting. They will end with Walk Through Life, an upbeat song that incorporates the first two songs beautifully. Some lines include Walk Through Life, Every Day is a New Beginning, Sense Your Light, It's Your Day, and The World is Waiting. Move along to the song Singing in Your Soul. Feel the beat, clap your hands, let it take control. All you need, all you want, are you ready to find your way?
last group will be starting with Please Stay, composed by Minnesota composer Jake Runestade. Dealing with the difficult issue of suicide. Um, I know it's not any of my students uh, talking while there's people talking. That's very disrespectful. I know it's not my students. So please, if it, it is you, 8th and 9th graders, uh, 10th through 12th graders, please stop. Thank you. Dealing with the difficult issue of suicide. This song incorporates words taken from tweets that use the hashtag, I kept living. The second song, What Love Can Do, speaks to the amazing power of what love can accomplish. One of the leading causes of suicide is a person feeling unwanted or unloved. Some lines include, we will learn from each other, heal one another, build what is good and true. The final song, Hero, is a description of what it looks like to be a good person or hero. So many of the solutions presented by these choirs are only possible when each person takes it upon themselves to represent what it means to be a hero. And we will have one more song after Hero, so don't leave early.
people say about me reflects who they are, not who I am. It is okay to be a work in progress. Sharing your feelings doesn't make you weak. I decided to ask for help instead of going through it alone. Some days are still such a struggle. It was very hard, but I kept living. One, One person, person took, took the time, time to listen and understand. And understand. Sometimes, Sometimes that's all it takes.
future we're the ones they won't overlook we'll take it all away and live another day we'll make a statement to the world that we're here to stay Whoa. All right, uh, are we on? All right, so our uh, last song that's not on your program, um, everyone's going to come on stage for that, so please do that, guys. They know the drill. Make, make, make room on stage. This is every single group coming up here. Um, the song is uh, titled Connected, which I thought was a perfect um, thing to tie together every, everything we've done tonight, um, all the ideas we explored, and now we're going to come connected, because that's the only way we're going to make change in the world. Uh, through song, um, through singing. So uh, it'll take us a minute to get uh, situated up here. I uh, hope you enjoy Connected by Brian Tate.